Police are investigating an art heist. Police allege a man picked up the painting meant to be shipped across the country, but it never got to its destination. NBC 10's Deanna Durante has more on investigators' theory that the thief is not working alone. It might have been reframed, uh, and there was some a name on the back, L. Parks. Is it a rare painting, one by a famous artist? We don't know, and we won't know, unless the owner gets it back. They knew they wanted... The painting was shipped from a FedEx store in Los Angeles. The owner had it packed in store, and it was bound for a Chester County auction house. The exact worth isn't known, but clearly... There was a desire for someone to have it. It was 7.15 at this Westchester Federal Express facility on January 27th. Someone had walked in through the security gate, walked straight in, um, you know, was checked by their metal detector, went in the building, you know, changed the shipping to from a delivery to a pickup. And left with that painting, walking right past workers showing up for the day. Whatever car was used to get there and back was hidden from view. Much of this case is unusual, say police. This facility isn't a store where customers typically go, and the person who picked up the painting had information very few had, including the correct name to sign for the artwork. The individual's on the phone, texting. But who's on the other end of that text chain? An accomplice, perhaps, feeding the correct information in order to carry out the crime? While police say they don't know much about this painting, art sleuths across the world are now helping on the case. The painting is being added to the world's largest lost art registry. Maybe somebody knows something about it. And that's where you come in. See this artwork show up somewhere it doesn't belong? West Whiteland Police want to hear from you. Deanna Durante, NBC10 News.